So after uh, a while, we started noticing some money laying in the floor at the at this glass door, and uh, we, we really didn't understand why. And my dad had a theory that you know maybe maybe people are putting money through the door. So he he tested out the theory, and turns out the cat kind of snatched the the money out of his hand almost as soon as he put it through. So it's clear people have been playing with the cat through the door. And I mean, as as downtown has has started to really build up with a lot of people, there's a lot of you know walkers by here, and the cat follows them. You know, and he you know it, he teases them, and people play with him through the glass. So I'm sure that someone had you know a dollar on their in their pocket, and they thought I'll play with the cat, and they probably didn't intend to lose the money. They probably put it through to play games with him, and then and he snatched it before they even realized it. So I'm, I'm not entirely certain that they didn't intend to lose their money in the first one. But after a while, a little more money started showing up, and we were like, this is odd. So we tested the theory, found out that that's, that is what's happening. And uh, we thought, well, if he's going to do this and people are going to play along, might as well give the money to, to a charity so that, you know, one, more people will be inclined to do it. Two, he can do some good at the same time. So we put this little sign up that says, warning, the cat will take your money, basically, and uh, he's he's raised over $100 so far for the day center. We chose the day center as he's a shelter cat. He was once homeless, and being downtown, he's kind of very much a downtown fixture in the East Village. A lot of people know of the Third Street Kitty, and uh, downtown has a has a, a need for that, for the, the homeless population. We, we This uh, Tulsa Day Center does an amazing job serving that population, so giving they need more money. They need more resources. So, um, um, it's kind of a cool charity to give to. But that's kind of how it came to be. And then uh, we've coined his name to be Cash Nip Kitty instead of Sir Wines a Lot, which is his original name, because it's more appropriate now to be Cash Nip. I think it's, uh, fundraising of any sort is great. Um, fundraising that can make people smile. You know, everybody's asking for money. You, Everyone's been asked for a donation. Uh, this is almost a game, you're, and it, it costs a dollar to play. Yeah, everyone likes to mess with, with a cat and get a cat to interact and play with, and it just happens to be a dollar is, is the, the cost to play. And the fact that it doesn't cost anything to do it, he's enjoying himself, he loves the attention, and uh, it, it's kind of fun and it's a unique way to, to raise money for a charity that needs needs the help. And in the midst of it all, I guess people were sick of seeing him laying on the floor, you know, watching him. So West Elm and Utica Square donated a little baby sofa for him to lay and lounge on. So it's even got their little sign. But So he now has a sofa that matches his eyes and he can lounge in style instead of, you know, sitting on the cold floor. You know, now he can sit on a sofa.